Alright, I know that in the past I made some funny videos and even a short movie about this pandemic and I got some comments that I'm not taking this, this seriously. But I think I made this just to escape the reality because uh, in real life I need to take this this cautiousness to the to the next level. I even mentioned this. And yes, I know what's your biggest question right now. Why do I have this in my living room? But uh, let me answer that question in my next video. And when you're watching my short film, that plastic curtain is not there just for the shots. That's how I live my life for the past couple of weeks. Let me explain this after the intro. Just like everybody else, I'm not doing anything productive during this pandemic. It even took me like three weeks to get back to this video, so... <sighs> Let's finish it. So as I just said, I'm extremely bored and I feel like I'm logged in just like, just like you. But I kind of put together a tutorial to help everybody and I know that you already know what to do and how to do, but... Even though I'm living in an apartment with only one person and most of the time he stays in his room but still I need to take all these steps to the next level because I'm helping some people with autoimmune diseases. Now, a lot of these steps will need only, only common sense but even if you don't have that just stay with me and I'll help you. First thing first, the gloves and the mask. These are two things that everybody's wearing nowadays but if you're not wearing it properly there is no reason to wear it. After you use the gloves, please do not touch the outside of the gloves with your bare hands. So just pinch it, pull it down, and then put it in the inside of the other glove. Now use two of your fingers, push those in at the wrist, and pull down the other glove as well. It comes down easily, just make sure you're not touching the exterior of the gloves. And there you go, your gloves are ready to be trashed. I used to buy these non-surgical cheap vinyl gloves from Target, but since I cannot find them, I had to improvise. So I bought dog pooping bags. <laughs> it works good. You just put it in, tuck it under something like a watch, and you can hold stuff with it and you can write with it and it's just perfect. Especially when I'm coming home from the store, I'm using the clean hand, dirty hand rule. So everything, my wallet, my keys, everything that can be virus i I'm holding it with my right hand. Now I will drop these off and I will rest this hand on the stick shift or I will handle the stick shift with this hand. My left hand will be the clean hand. So that will be the one that takes care of the wheel. So this is how I'm driving. Now when you're wearing a mask, you're doing it with similar precautions. Please try to not touch the inside of the mask. So just put it on and let it go. When you're taking it off, pull it from the outside, do not touch the inside again, and it's done. Before I would get to the shopping and going to the store part, let me show you my apartment. We completely divided the apartment in two. This is the entrance to the living room, and this will be the entrance to my office. And we highly respect each other's zone. It's like wildlife. Don't get into my territory. <laughs> Okay, now let's look into my shopping process because that's, that's funny as well. I use a fabric mask. This is what I'm gonna put over the N95 mask. Then I take a coat that's easy to wash. And of course, the gloves. We use our phones all the time, so our phone will need a protection as well. I found out that these small Ziplocs are perfect fit for my Note 9. And the best thing after this is that you can use your phone even when it's bagged. So now that my phone is protected, I make sure that I have my Bluetooth headphones in my ear before I step out the car and I put on my N95 mask. As I showed you guys earlier, I'm trying to not touch the inside face of it. I'm just a dumb male, because some females put their makeups on their faces and they're not touching their faces all day long. As soon as somebody says face, I'm like... So for this reason, I'm wearing glasses. These glasses are motorcycle glasses, so the air cannot get into it and I just feel a bit safer. And it's done. This is the full protection that I'm using.
this is not cool. Okay, I don't even have to say it anymore that I'm not getting closer than six foot to anyone. And I'm trying to not talk to anyone either. When I get back to the car, I'm trying to not touch my face. I take off the mask as I explained it earlier and I'm ready to go home. Now when I get home I typically wash my hands with Clorox and soap. I make sure that I wash my hands all the way up to my elbow, I wash my watch, I also wash my wristband and now I'm ready to take off my clothes. Again I'm trying to not touch my face with the clothes, I'm trying to not shake my clothes so the virus, potential virus stays in it. And now that this part is done, I hope that you already like to wash your hands, because I'm going to wash my hands again. Previously, I dropped everything that I bought on the floor. All of these bags will need to be cleaned. To clean these products properly, I'm using a water and bleach mixture. The recipe on Clorox's website was a 5 to 1 ratio. I guess I will just make this stronger with a 3 to 1 ratio. Please make sure that you're remixing this every third day, because after 3 days this won't be potent enough. Now you will need to spray the mixture on the products and leave it on it like for 5 minutes. Now you remember at the beginning we had the products on the floor, so with the same mixture you can just go over the whole floor and wipe it off. Make sure you will wipe the bottom of your shoes as well. And now you can ask me what is the whole point of this if I'm using the same fridge as, as my roommate, but not exactly. Let me show you. My routine is to wash out the kitchen cabinets every two days and I'm not touching any of the handles, that's his. I'm touching the door. Now when it comes to the fridge, the fridge handles are labeled. These are the areas where we would put our hands. When I'm opening up the freezer, the freezer is completely divided as well. This is where I keep my stuff. And of course, the same thing is applicable for the actual fridge as well. Now this was the hardcore grocery shopping, but what happens when you're using some clothes just for one hour or half an hour, just for a quick walk? Well, well, according to CDC, the virus will be alive on your clothes for 24 hours. Now, I'm taking this a bit further, I don't trust it. I will leave all my clothes out for three days before I use it again. This is how I have my clothes dated and hanging, and even if you don't want to use it again, I think it's a good idea to leave the clothes resting a bit. And now that I'm done with all these steps, here comes a well-deserved beer. Now typically after the first sip of beer, I go and I take a shower where I clean my face, my ears, my neck, my hair. But first, I start with my hands again. This process is pretty important. No, I will not drop any footages in here when I'm showering. Well, maybe on my Instagram, <laughs> whatever. If I forgot or if I skipped any steps that I'm using in my life, um, I'll share those in my Instagram. So, <coughs> coronavirus. <laughs> so make sure that you're following me on Instagram as well. And next week I'm planning to share a somewhat happier video. So just make sure you leave me a like button in the comment section below. Hit subscribe with the real life excavator and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Shh. Crazy.